Femi Olundo, you right open letter to David o, over DNA test on child he denied 10 years ago. Mention B Red and others. Before I commence with the full gist, welcome to Apropos DCV, a platform where we keep you updated and informed on trending latest matters happening on social media. If you haven't already, do subscribe to our YouTube page. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when next we drop our next video. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Apropos to all our wonderful returning subscribers much love for me here thank you for your consistency and support we do not take you for granted now to all our viewers relax enjoy and stay tuned Kemi Olunloyo is a controversial journalist that has written an open letter to singer Davido about his mother who passed away years ago. Davido's mother, as she claims, recently spoke to her in a dream about a child he denied 10 years ago. Remember that Kemi accused the musician in 2018 for forsaking his alleged first daughter after sleeping with a prostitute. Ayotomi de la Binjo. After a concert at an Ibadan nice club where she was working in February 2013, the media personality claimed Davido slept with the woman. According to Kemi, the woman conceived and gave birth to a daughter who is also named Ayo and thought to be Davido's child. She claimed that the singer eventually admitted to having relationships with her along with his gang, which included B. Red Bio after initially denying it and refusing to submit to a DNA test. Moving to 2023, Kemi claimed in an open letter posted on her Facebook page that David Doe's deceased mother had asked her to advise him to arrange his household in regard of her grandchild, particularly his alleged daughter, Anu. According to her, Obio had refused to acknowledge Anu as his first child. After David Doe declined to assist, Kemi claims that she has been caring for the child and her mother since 2018. She also added that all she wants is the new DNA test in order to know if Anu was fathered by David Doe. Kemi writes an open letter to David Adeleke at David Doe. David, I already forgave you for disrespecting me in October 20, 2018. Last night, I had Vero Imades, my nickname for your late mom, voice in my dream. And I had to write this today. I am appealing to you to read this. Your mother sent me to you. Organize your household. Regarding her grandchild, I saw Ifain on her lap feeding him. This is just a dream. It shook me. Five years later, I am begging you to do a DNA test for Anu. She is now 10 years old. When I met her in Ibado, October 20th, 2018, I showed her to the world. You ignored her press conference, even saying, how could you accept a child born to a one-night stand prostitute? A child was conceived that night. I investigated Ayola Binjo very well, especially the beard part being there at the after party hotel room asking her if she has sex with the both of you this child looks like all of you in your family she is an adirike do not regret what happened with larissa's son anu also told me that she's always said davido is my dad meaning she is your first child when you were upcoming during the Maduro concert days she has been singing all your song word for word for so long she is a big fan too i met anu poor no school education and promptly registered her in school paid school fees and gave her 10k monthly child support for a year opened a kiddie account for her that i will hand over the signatory to her at 18 years though Aya is still insisting that she know who she slept with i was even asking for bio and you to submit for a dna then her grandmother miss ropo labijo has gone to your king temi of ede and so many acquaintances of the adele case everyone ignored her since she was the mother of the Ron's girl my fans wanted an update so i decided to do this five years update i left ibadan and lost phone numbers after an armed robbery anu contacted me herself Vero Media wants you to accept the call for the DNA test. I will organize it 
independently if you want children are a gift from god see how beautiful your kids are congratulations to your new son i heard bless your hustle with your new timeless album wrote kemi my own personal opinion on this david has come back you all will not let him rest just it's not even up to a month that he is back and you all won't miss any opportunity to use his name to chase unnecessary clouds how come during the time that he was on break his mother didn't appear to you telling you to go and look for her son and check after his well-being or carry Ifai on her lap as you claimed it's barely a month since he came back from his break you guys should cut him some slack will you he's also a human being oh just check it if someone would do this kind of thing to you it's barely up to a month and rumors have been flying helter skelter using davido as a point of contact for your content so let's go back to the main purpose of the supposed open letter to david doe according to her allegedly david doe has a daughter that we all don't know about how come she knows this that one is even by the way do you know what really got me in this her cloud chasing scandalic post she said look at her she looks like all of you in your family the child looks like all the adele case like excuse me the fact that david Doe has a very identical and i mean very identical to the snl could it be called twins and because of the identicalness he got the name twin obio does it mean that he is david Doe's brother okay let us say she is david Doe's child per se well we cannot say she actually is because of kemi said so we deal with legit news the legitimacy of the news we do here is top notch let us say she is actually david doe's child why did she have to include in her open letter to david doe the good things she have done for the girl she sent the girl to school she opens a kiddie account for the girl and she has a monthly child support for the girl not trying to say those things are bad and it's really really good if she has actually done that it is really impressive and it is quite admirable but one thing is a fact when you do good let your good work speak for you you don't have to go around publicizing in details what you have done for somebody if you do it yeah you did it good and good and all but let your good work celebrate you not you celebrating your good work and if you listen very closely to the open letter i read you see she didn't even know the father of the child she was actually in the point where she was like the girls slept the both of them she didn't know if the child could could be david o or b red so well, guys do drop us your thoughts and comments in the comment section we'd love to hear from you what are your thoughts your opinions do hit us down below in the comment section provided for you and if you haven't already i don't know what you're waiting for subscribe to our youtube page as a proco gstv as i know you do not want to miss out on trending latest juicy just happening on social media don't forget to follow us on our facebook platform at a proco gist where it's our duty to make sure you are informed and kept up to date on trending latest news Thank you so, so much for staying tuned with us up to this point. As sadly, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, I'm your winners, guys. Do stay safe.